Hello, my Sagittarians. This is Psychic Gigi. I'm going to be doing a general love reading for August 15th through August 31st, Sun, Moon, and Rising. If you would like a personal reading with me, my information is listed below. Again, this is a general reading, so it, I, you know, it will resonate with some of you. Um, and some of you, um, you know, it might not resonate. Please like, share, and comment. Okay, so the first card that I have is the Nine of Wands. I feel like there is some, um, when I get the Nine of Wands reversed, I feel like there's some kind of stubborn energy going on in, a, in around your relationship. Maybe some one of you um, in around your relationship have not really put their full effort into it or just kind of like, it's been a little quiet for my, some of my Sagittarius. The next one I have is the Ace of Cups, upright. So I do feel like some of you are going to be either entering into a new relationship where there's someone new coming in and around, um, coming in towards you. The next card that I have is the Knight of Swords. Okay, so guys, just looking at this three card spread that we have for, again, our general love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising, I feel like some of you are still kind of holding on to maybe somebody from your past. There is somebody new coming into your lives um, who's going to bring um, emotional joy, emotional fulfillment. This could be an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius that comes in. This person's looking for a stronger, committed relationship. But I have to ask you, are you guys ready for this? Because I feel some of you are um, really not ready. The next card that I have is the Page of Cups reversed. So you're a little cautious, kind of entering into it. Um, if it is somebody new coming into your life or if it's somebody from your past coming back and trying to revive that energy a little bit. The next card that I have is the Seven of Wands. So some of you might even be a little defensive and on guard when this person does come back. It's, it's kind of, you know, they might have had you in a little bit of a holding period and they're ready to come back towards you. Um, but I definitely feel that some of you are going to start working through some of your relationship issues this month. And even though you might have been arguing a lot, you're going to find some common ground, like as far as compromising and moving forward. Um, again, I do feel like some of you are going to have a new relationship. There's somebody new coming in, but you have to let go of your past in order to allow this new person to come in. The next card that I have is the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Wands, um, you know, coming right after the Seven of Wands, I feel like some of you are, are a little defensive, a little on guard, not really willing to put the, re the effort in around the, um, a new relationship or your current relationship. But I do feel like Kind of offloading some of your stress with more communication will allow you to not feel so overloaded or overburdened with the, with you know whether it's a new relationship or or past relationship that's coming back towards you. So I feel like if you just if you guys kind of just offload some of um, your responsibilities or your stress, you can move past this, move on to um, a more committed relationship with which is one of you are looking for. So there's definitely going to be a need for some work for you guys this month and around relationships. Um, definitely letting go of the past. The bottom of the deck, I have the Ace of Swords upright. So again, I feel like some of you are going to kind of, you know, face these challenges that you've had in your relationship and move forward. Kind of get to the truth and get to the, like, the bottom of the situation. Like, I get breakthroughs around my Sagittarius for the last two weeks of August. So, whatever, you know, I feel like you're going to make the, the right decision. And then the other thing I'm getting is, like, a lot of you are going to be making some decisions um, regarding some of your present issues where you're going to be able to move forward and move on into a more stronger, committed relationship. Again, these are going to be based on emotional influences. So I feel like both of you are, you know, if you're in a current relationship or you meet somebody new, you guys are pretty much ready to move on and move forward. Let's get one um, Oracle Angel card for my Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what our spirit guides have to say. Okay, for fulfillment, guys. That's actually a really beautiful card. So... 
I feel a lot of my Sagittarius are going to feel complete fulfillment um, when it comes to your emotions. Like you guys are going to be meeting your goals and around your relationships, but this comes through um, self-reflection and also reflection and around the relationships. So some of the projects that you might have been working on, I get a lot of harmony in around the universe. So this is going to be kind of, you guys are going to be feeling a little bit more fulfilled um, and also satisfied with your relationship. And I get this also represents some unconditional love. So this might be somebody that, you know, um, has been in and out of your life, but it, it's just, it's unconditional. Like no matter what, through thick or thin, you guys can get through this. All right, that's um, so about it for my Sagittarius. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Again, my information is listed below if you would like a private reading with me. Um, love and light to all of you.